I have never taken birth control in my life. As you can see, I have two kids. Up high, down low, in the middle, too <laughs> slow. What color is this? Blue. What? Blue. Blue? What? It's not blue, it's a different color. Is this the one? Yeah, what color is that? Blue. No. What? What color is it? It's not blue, it's a different one. This one mine? Yeah, which one is it? Blue. No. Which one is it, Nova? What color is it? Yes, yeah, like a purple. <laughs> what are you writing? I write the ABCs. Oh, you're writing your ABCs. Let's see. Let's see. Let me see. So now that our luggage has finally arrived, we can go ahead. Hey, and my ride. name is Nova. <laughs> we can. Pick my name is Ita. <laughs> I'm gonna be in the bedroom too. Hey, my name is Noah. I can't wait to go to Disneyland. <laughs> my name is Isla. Your name is Isla. All right, so yeah, now that our luggage has arrived, hey. we can pack our clothes. On the count of three, y'all, we're gonna say we're going to Disneyland, okay? One, two, three. We're going to Disneyland. So packing for two toddlers was insane. Isla is always trying to sneak in a nursing session like, dang girl, we are going on a week long vacation. And I spent the last three weeks figuring out what everyone is gonna wear. When I tell y'all it was so stressful, like trying to coordinate outfits with everyone, but I got it done and everything is finally delivered. The last thing that I was waiting to be delivered was our, our new suitcases, which they just got here. And I also had to buy like some packing cubes for the suitcases, which were delivered today. And I already have all of the girls' clothes organized, folded, and just ready to be put inside the suitcase. So I'm so excited y'all like every time we're going anywhere I feel like they have to have a new outfit for the occasion even when we're going to places in town like if I know beforehand I'm buying an outfit for it I ordered all new stuff like they're not bringing anything they had already in their closet all the new clothes and all the vacation prep stuff is almost more expensive than the actual vacation all right so we're going to be going for a week um three or four of those days are going to be spent at disneyland doing like disney stuff and three of those days i know one day we're going to have a beach day and then the other day we might travel like out to la and do some like touristy stuff around the city and we might have like a free day or just a explore or another explore day we haven't really decided exactly what we're going to do on the days that's not disney days but i know we're going to go to the beach for sure so this row of stuff is for isla the second row of stuff is for nova and the last row of stuff is just like extras they have an extra disney they have an extra outfit for our disney days and then they have an extra like dressy outfit in case we like eat out at like a nicer restaurant and then they have just an extra set of clothes here. Like when I tell y'all, I found the cutest stuff. A lot of their outfits are matching. Well, this is actually Isla's birthday trip for her second birthday. So a lot of her outfits are birthday girl themed. All right, so first up right here is Isla's birthday dress that she's gonna wear for her birthday dinner. Nova's gonna be wearing this gold tassel dress. This dress is so cute. And then she has the gold shoes to go with it. Isla has gold shoes to go with hers as well. So I actually have this organized by day. So 
this is the first day that we're leaving they're gonna wear this on the air at the airport once we get to our hotel they're gonna change into one of their extra outfits and the extra outfits are so cute let me show you i absolutely love them they have the skirts to go with that and then this is saturday's outfit so saturday is going to be a beach day so they have like these really flowy beach type outfits and nova has this cute little mini mouse or mickey mouse shaped purse that's that goes with basically all of her outfits she's been really into purses lately so she can choose to wear this if she wants to and then this is their outfit for sunday sunday monday tuesday and wednesday are all going to be disney days these are nova's disney ears that matches the outfit that she's going to wear sunday then isla's going to wear this i'm the birthday girl shirt and then she's going to wear her birthday disney ears both sunday and Monday and this is Nova's Monday outfit both their Tuesday outfit they have these matching dresses that I got from Walmart but I actually got these dresses on sale they were about $11 each or something like that on the Walmart's website and I got these ears for $9 each off of Amazon to match their dresses when they wear these matching dresses they're gonna wear these little strawberry shoes that I found on sale for I think $6 each at Old Navy they actually have like they smell like candy i thought that was really nice and this is what they're gonna wear on that wednesday which is gonna be our last disney day tiana dresses nova's gonna bring her tiana doll and then they have these oh my god y'all these are so cute with these tiana dresses they're gonna wear these shoes that i got from old navy now on the website these shoes were like a more of a light gold in person they're really like a dark gold so they don't really match the ears too much but they're gonna have to match because i'm not going out and buying them any more clothes for this trip i've bought all this stuff so i'm like done buying stuff now and up here on the bed i have their pajamas i bought them seven pair of pajamas each i bought her a brand new pack of these Minnie mouse themed underwear she's gonna have her bonnet they both have some disney themed pajama sets a bunch of extra bibs for isla and then i'm bringing them three swimsuits each so these are so cute these are like little princess swimsuits and this one is what is this rapunzel yeah i think this one is rapunzel but i thought it was so cute and i also bought them like some shorts to wear with their swimsuit and then this is going to be their last swimsuit which are these mickey mini matching swimsuits i found these at old navy as well and then i also brought them some like extra jackets raincoats here's isla's sweater and her raincoat and then nova's also going to be bringing her little backpack that she has and i just stuffed a few items in here so far so she's going to bring this on the plane with us some baby wipes an extra pull up for Nova, some diapers for Isla, an extra pair of underwear for Nova, and I also put them each a extra outfit in here just in case you know they spill something on themselves or something like that then i have two baby blankets in here and i also have my breastfeeding cover we've been planning this trip for months now and initially i wanted to be done breastfeeding isla like i wanted to have her completely off of the boob by the time this trip came but unfortunately that's not the case and she still likes to nurse about three or four times a day and i'm pretty sure she's gonna want to nurse on the plane so this breastfeeding cover i think i had this i don't remember if i had this the last time we went to disney world but i think i just used the blanket but this breastfeeding cover it like goes around your neck like this and so so this comes in really handy so you're not like overly exposing yourself last thing i've packed in here so far is just some of nova's princess themed or mermaid themed headphones i'm not gonna lie i've honestly been contemplating whether or not i want to bring ipads on this trip because i feel like it would be good to have them like go a week with no screen time but at the same time i'm like when it comes to like the plane ride because this is going to be like a three hour flight i don't want i just want to have options to keep them settled and calm during the flight i bought a few other things as well to keep their attention throughout the flight but we're also going to be eating at a few different restaurants while we're there and it's kind of it's nice to just have their ipads to put on <laughs> what are y'all fighting over now okay but we can't fight over stuff okay y'all both have one 
Hey, Nova, y'all both can have one. Isla, are you trying to take both of them from her? Isla, you can't take both of them, y'all both. Calm down. Hey. Are you ready for a nap, mama? Huh? Calm down. You have yours and she has hers. Y'all have to have your own stuff. That's why we buy y'all your own stuff so you can each have one. You can't take both of them, okay? If you do. Yeah, look at his tail. It's so cute. Yeah. Toddlers, they will fight over anything. I make it a point to buy two of everything so that they don't, don't fight do. over it. And they still fight they over don't it. Do. All their stuff is ready to be put inside of their suitcase, but I am going to put it into packing cubes before I put it in their suitcase. I even found this really pretty Princess Castle phone case. I'm so obsessed. I found this on Amazon. I'm over here trying to like use my nail to open up this box and I have broke my nail. Okay, so this should be our packing cubes in this box. Yes. So I also got an extra um, SD card. These are our packing cubes. I got this half, like one third inch or something like that. It's like the tiny flat iron. Ooh, it's pretty. So yeah, it's really small to grip those edges. Honestly, I wish it was smaller than this because my edges are so short right now. But yeah, right now, we need to focus on putting all of the girls' clothes inside the packing cubes and then putting it in their suitcase. All right, so last night I got a good amount of stuff accomplished. I got all of this stuff right here packed away. So I still have to pack away all of their pajamas, swimsuits, and their extra sweaters, raincoats. These two outfits right here are their outfits that they're gonna wear to the airport. So I'm just gonna put those on top of their suitcase. And then right here I have their toiletries, which I'm gonna pack away in this little pouch this pouch came with the rest of the packing cubes so for my toddler's hygiene items i'm bringing this here um wash and shampoo by cerave and then i'm also bringing this moisturizer cream so i have like a bunch of these little small travel tubes of the moisturizer a bunch of the um wash and shampoo because i got all of these from their pediatrician i even have like multiple tubes of like their toothpaste and stuff and vaseline the um diaper rash ointment and this is some more healing ointment so i got all of that stuff in a big bag from their pediatrician one day i usually just take it with us whenever we go on trips fun fact for all the moms out there if you ever need like travel size body washes for your toddlers you can just ask their pediatrician for it and they'll give you like a whole bag of stuff for free at least my pediatrician did and i didn't even have to really ask we were just talking about i think nova was having some issues with um with like having allergic reactions to some brands of soap so i was just like asking them what soap they recommended and they just gave me like this big bag of stuff that i've had for a long time now because it was so much stuff i have their toothpaste ointment moisturizers body wash tweezers nail clippers and over here i have everything else and i also have this here antifungal cream and i think this one is like for like itching so i'm going to put their toiletry bag inside of nova's backpack and i'm also going to pack these um drawing tablets as well for them to have on our plane ride so our flight to california is actually a red eye flight which i'm really excited about because i feel like the kids are going to be pretty much sleep sleep or sleepy the entire time so our flight there should be a breeze i'm hoping that it is because on our last flight nova slept the entire time and i'm hoping that her and isla just sleep just please <laughs> but i know for sure on our way back home they're going to be wide awake because we leave at like 3 p.m and we make it back to houston at 8 p.m at night and they're definitely going to be awake so for this last bag i'm going to basically try to fit everything else the remainder of their stuff into this one bag
their little house slippers. These are what they're going to be using to walk around the hotel in. These are brand new as well, so it's fine that they're touching the clothes. Now that I have their luggage out of the way, I have to pack my luggage. Up high. Down low. In the middle. Too <laughs> slow. So it's a little bit later in the day right now. And let me tell you, I fell asleep for like two hours. Both of the girls are asleep as well. So I want to go ahead and pack my suitcase before they wake up. But let me show you my lunch. Well, it's 8 o'clock now. So this is basically like my dinner. I've been absolutely obsessed with this salad from a restaurant called Dish Society. I've been having it like at least once a week. So it's crispy chicken, chickpeas, parmesan cheese. Then I get two Caesar dressings. And y'all, I had a sweet tooth. So I also got this gluten-free pancake. And it has like coconut shavings um chia seeds and strawberries on top got an extra syrup for that oh it also has some blackberries um the coconut shavings with the syrup so good i already went through and organized all of my outfits out by each day so this right here is two outfits it's a black romper and then this is a two-piece short set these are both my airport outfits and i'm going to wear both of those with these this is my outfit for dinner friday night i actually wore this dress before in the vlog if you saw my vlog where we went on like a mini vacation to austin texas absolutely loved that vacation i've been wanting to get back to austin ever since then because it's just such a beautiful city to me but yeah, I wore this dress in that vlog and I'm going to be wearing it again on this vacation. And then the next four outfits are all Disney outfits. This is another dress up outfit in case we go out to like a nice dinner. And then I'm actually going to wear this dress on Saturday because we're going to have like a beach day. And then I bought this set of three pajamas with like the top and the bottom. And this is the top. It's just the oversized button down shirt with the little bow right here i think it's so cute y'all i wish you could just feel the material it's so soft you know how we use the apps to track our menstrual cycle right so my app is always correct first of all but it says that my period is going to come on the day that we leave to go on this trip and i'm just like i'm crying inside i've been online trying to research like how to like stop it or make it come earlier or make it come later and like the only option i'm really seeing is birth control and i have never taken birth control in my life as you can see i have two kids but but i got on that topic because my swimsuits i had to go and order swimsuits to where i would be like completely covered up i don't plan on getting in the pool but i plan on being at the pool with my kids of course so I want it to be like fully covered. You know how we feel when you're, your period's on. You don't want to be all like ass butt out and you know. So the swimsuits are so cute. The outfit I'm wearing to the beach Saturday, it's got like that swimsuit feeling to it. So, and it's a it's a super long maxi dress. Y'all see in my next vlog, but I'm going to be pretty covered up this entire trip. And then over here, y'all, my bed is not made up. Please ignore that. But over here, I have some extra items. This is an extra Disney outfit because y'all know with kids, anything can happen. They can I can spill something on myself. The kids can spill something on me. You know, anything can happen. And then I have these shoes. I bought these our first time at Disney World for Nova's first birthday and i don't have them plans to wear with any of the outfits that i'm going to be wearing i'm going to try to force myself to just change into these shoes at least once on this trip just so it can be like a you know like a um what's the word a tradition to wear every time we go to disney i wear these shoes i'm always trying to make everything sentimental let me stop so i'm going to pack all these clothes away in my suitcase right there and then i also bought this bag off of amazon so i'm going to be using this bag as my personal item bag to bring on the plane i'm going to bring all of my toiletries all of my important things i just really hate how they handle luggage at the airport and my luggage is brand new like i just bought this luggage specifically for this trip because the, the luggage i had before i just didn't like the, this is actually the luggage i had right here is this gray one 
and I just no longer like the color and I'm just like in my girly era right now so I wanted like a more like feminine like pinkish color this bag right here is our beach bag we're gonna put like I think there's some stuff in there right now two of these handheld fans in here and then we have this next fan and then we have the charger for those I just finished packing all of my toiletry items so I'm going to show you really quickly so in here I just have um, our shower caps my jewelry some sunglasses and a little toiletry bag with a little extra items and some extra earrings and then this is my main toiletry bag right here where I have basically everything in that feminine items these are like some headbands and things like that all of my hygiene items, toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, body wash, extra pair of glasses, some extra contacts, um, some travel size eye drops. I even have a shaver in there that you can hardly see. And then these two bags right here, it's my makeup bag. So this is all of my makeup products that I'm gonna bring. And this bag is all of my makeup brushes. And this bag with my makeup brushes in it actually fits perfectly inside of the other bag. So recently I've been liking to use this castor oil on my skin as like a moisturizer. It really helps stop the itchiness from my flare ups. This is how both of my suitcase and my bag look. I think they look so cute together. I'm just a little bit scared about this bag being so big, but it'll be fine, I'm sure. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Get ready for all the travel content. I'm so excited. Say goodbye. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Watch my next video. Watch our next video. Bye.